Hi, Dr. Amano. It looks like you're getting ready to do a video on general chemistry. Can I uh, dedicate this uh, video to my friend from Creighton University Pre-Dental? His name's Kishan Patel. He told me he's a smart kid. He's looking for some 30s on the DAT. You All think right. you can help him out? All right, come on in. Let's have a look. We have a very, very tricky problem at hand today. Down at the I can hammer about 99.9% .9 of you guys. It starts off, we have acetic acid and methanol, and we make methyl acetate in water. So it's just a normal acid, alcohol gives ester plus water reaction. One mole of the acid and one mole of the alcohol is reacted in a one liter flask. At equilibrium, two thirds of the products are formed. Two thirds of products are formed. Find the KEQ. Well, I write the reaction again. We set up the ice table as usual. Now, whenever you do initial, you always want to make sure you're in moles per liter. So one mole and one liter gives me one molar here, one molar here. There's no starting, there's no ester and there's no water um, at the start. The change, since we're forming two thirds moles of products, they're gonna come from here. So we subtract two thirds from here, two thirds molar from here. So since this is a one to one ratio, this is two thirds and this is two thirds. Then at equilibrium, we have one minus two thirds. What's the final tally? We have one third of acid, one minus two thirds. We have one third of the alcohol. Then we have two thirds of the ester and two thirds of the water. Now you better sit down for a minute. Uh oh. Normally when we write the KEQ expression, we don't put in water. But I want you to understand why don't we put in water? Because the concentration of water doesn't change. But here, you're forming water. Water is a product. Um, it's not a solvent. It's not in greatest amount. Therefore, you have to put it in the KEQ equation. I don't think you'll see something tricky on the dad like that, but I want you to be aware of it. So the KEQ would be ester times water divided by the acid times the alcohol. Plug it in the numbers, two-thirds times two-thirds, one-third, one-third on the bottom. That gives me four-ninths divided by one-ninth, which is the same as four-ninths times nine, crossing out the nines, and whoosh, you get four for the answer. KQ is four. I hope that helped on a problem you've probably never seen before. Normally, water doesn't count in the KQ expressions, but this time it did. Water was a product and it wasn't in very much amounts. Normally when we run this reaction, we often use um, inert solvents um, like DMAP, DCC, hexane, something like that. All right, I hope this helps on a tricky problem that you'll be bringing into the DAT, the Oda and the MCAT. All right. Okay, thanks Dr. Romano. It's kind of windy out here today. I'm gonna go fly a kite. You All wanna right. join bye me? Bye. Good day to you, sir. She, she never takes a break.